I'd like to show you now how to export your images off to um, Flash and they have to be in dot pings in order to maintain transparent background and also to um, uh, allows it to have the animation, the movement, or symbols so you can actually use it multiple times. So what do you do? This is what you do. Over here I'm looking at my actual layers in the background. Here's my uh, backdrop, eye on, or eye off, eye on. Uh, here's the Indian girl, eye off, eye on. Here's the eagle, eye off, eye on. You can either create three different Photoshop files, one for each one. Um, I like to just bring them all in. And uh, as you know from the last lesson, right now, this canvas is at uh, 1100 by 700. I can always check that by going up to image, image size. And there it is, 1100 by 700. And that's going to make it perfect from when we uh, do the animation because eventually that animation has to be 1100 by 700 in order to fit uh, correctly into Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to hit cancel and right now how about I go ahead and I export the back uh, the backdrop. So backdrop's on. I'm going to over here in the layer I'm turning off the um, eye for the eagle. I'm turning off the eye for the um, Indian girl and I'm just going to go ahead and go file main menu file save for web and devices this pops up over here on the right right now it's being saved as a gif or at least we're viewing it in three different qualities as a gif i don't want gif i want you can choose either ping 8 or ping 24 which is high i've always used ping 8 i've never had an issue with ping 8 so i've continued to use ping 8 so select ping 8 hit save it's going to ask where do you want to save it you might as well save it to um uh, folder on your desktop, you might as well call it images for animation um, and inside of it will be these ping images that you'll be bringing in to your animation. So down here on the bottom, new folder, I'm going to go desktop, <coughs> new folder, might as well call it images, or how about animation images, animation images, and that's it, I hit create, and there's my folder, animation images, I want to call this one backdrop. Lovely. And save. Then the next one, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Indian girl. Turn off. Now I'm going to go image. Now at this point, you go ahead and clean everything up. Clean the whole thing up. And once you're done cleaning up, I'm showing you how you're going to export it. I go image, trim. OK. Boom, it's perfect. There's no canvas left in the background. Then I go ahead and I say file, save for web. I'm gonna click on the one there. It already is set at ping eight. I say save. Folder's already been created on the desktop. Uh, animation images, I'll call this Indian girl. And now it's going off as a ping. And now my last one is going to be now the problem is I just slice down trim down my canvas don't worry about it go up to main menu edit step backwards main menu edit step backwards there it is I'm in luck again because there's no way you would see on that one that my backdrop wouldn't have appeared again so now this time I'm going to click on eagle on I'm going to turn the Indian girl off I'm going to come up here to image trim I go ahead, I clean everything out. Hopefully you've cleaned everything out of the eagle. I say trim, it says OK. There we go, file, save for web and devices. I come over to this one, I say save, and I type in eagle, done. And now when I go in there, I should have three. Now, don't forget, edit, step backwards. And now I'm going to just turn on so I don't forget. There's the backdrop. There's that. I'm going to come up here and say save. Just in case you have to do it over again, you don't want to have to spend all this time. And that .psd, that represents your Photoshop file. That's the original. That's the one that has all the layers. These are the ones now. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to call it, uh, I guess I could keep it animation, uh, animation images. I'm going to hit save. OK. You're done. I'm going to go ahead and Photoshop, hide Photoshop. I'm going to look. Where's my folder? There it is. Original Annie Images. 
think that's the one. No, that's not the one I just created. This is the one I just created, animation images. I'm gonna double click and there it is. There's my original, so if I need to go back and make changes, I can. It's all done, I just, I'm ready to export or even clean things up. Here, backdrop, I can now bring that into my flash. Uh, flash, cam uh, um, canvas size, uh, having to be 1100 by 700. Here's Eagle, ready to go in. Indian Girl, ready to go in. All three, all of them are pings.